good evening. I was just about to send greetings to an old friend. I'm sure modern civilized methods of homicide are much more efficient, but I don't care for them. I abhor violence. That is why on this program we use stabbings, shooting and garrotings only when they are absolutely essential to the plot or when the whim strikes us. Tonight's play begins in a museum and the title is The Cheney Vase. That's all I intend to tell you. You'll have to figure the rest out for yourselves. And now our sponsor wishes to say a few words designed to send you rushing out immediately to buy his products. But please endeavor to restrain yourselves. I don't want you to miss our story. I intend to discuss it any further. I want you to leave the museum this afternoon. Mr. Coulter, the work I did here as your assistant could have been done by a reasonably intelligent child. Leaving won't be exactly a hardship. However, you're rather conveniently forgetting my severance pay. If you want to make an issue with the money, Lyle, I'll be glad to take it up with the board. I'm prepared to go completely into your record during the three months you've been here. Your inability to arrive even approximately on time. The four days off last month with no reason whatsoever. It was spring, Mr. Coulson, though I doubt whether you were aware of that. I want you out of this building by three o'clock. Yes, sir. How did it go, Lyle? It went, and so shall I. Oh, no. What are you going to do? You got me this job. You got any other ideas? Let me go. Mr. Endicott? Miss Cheney! No one told me you were in the museum. And Francis and I just arrived. Well, now, aren't you looking chipper, if I may say so? Well, of course you may say so. Everyone lies to me and spoils me. I'd be rather put out if they didn't. But the only thing chipper about my appearance is perhaps my suit. And if you'd known me longer, Mr. Endicott, you'd know that that's almost as old as you are. <laughs> well, it's still very handsome, and so is its owner. But now, look here, doesn't this add a touch of color? Hmm? Well, no. There we go. It's very thoughtful of you, Mr. Endicott. Thank now, you. Now, you're not going to run off with one of the museum's treasures in that box, are you? <laughs> no, this is, this is my own last little effort. Francis, why don't you run along and do your errands? I shall need you for a while. Well, now, you know, it's, it's really very good. Yes, you, you know, you've cut this in here beautifully. Yeah. Well, of course, it's only a hobby, but at least no one can say that I completely waste my time rattling around in that old house out in the country. Well, there you are, Herbert. Good afternoon, Martha. What a nice surprise. I didn't expect you till Wednesday. Well, it was the only day I could come. Have you taken care of that matter as I asked you to? Oh, yes, I'll uh, take care of that immediately, Mr. Cawthorn. Well, Miss Cheney, it was so nice to see you again. Goodbye, Mr. Endicott. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, what did you want to see me about? Well, Martha, I'm leaving for the coast. Oh, are you really? Uh-huh. Day after tomorrow. Martha, it would be a wonderful send-off for my trip if I could inform the Board of Trustees that at long last, I've arranged to purchase the Cheney Bars. Oh, no, you're not still at it. No, <laughs> Herbert. You know I could never sell it.